You know, in this game, having your optics level, people don't realize that any little cant, any 1%, 2% of cant on your reticle, when you're shooting at a, a 10 inch target at 1,000 yards, I mean, you can be doing everything right. Great position, great trigger pull, you read the wind correct, and if your reticle's canted just a tiny little bit, you're gonna miss because the bullet has a certain trajectory, right? And how it's gonna follow the gun. And if your gun's canted, now the trajectory is canted. So setting up the rifle, the optics, making sure everything is level, it, to me, that's, that's where the beginning of everything is. I mount, I mount my rings, I typically lap my rings. It's just what I do. They really don't need it, but I just do it. It makes me feel good. I put the scope in, I level everything up make sure it's perfect with the rifle every single time because that way now I know my baseline no matter what happens then I have the level on the gun so when I'm in a match I'm always checking that level and now when the level's reading correct I know my reticle's correct because I've set it up with that gun so now following that suit I always level all my hunting guns because the same situation if I think I'm going to shoot a shot even at a hundred I still want it right but if I know I might shoot 300 or 400 or 500 or whatever the yardage is going to be and whatever animal you're shooting, any if you go out and shoot prairie dogs, if you're shooting at six or 700 yards, having fun with it, well, if your reticle's not level, you're, you're not going to hit. And then it translates to big game as well. If you think you're going to take that 500 yard shot at that mule deer or antelope, if your reticle is not level, you know, there's another variable I'm not going to take a shot that I'm not 100% confident that I can make because number one, I'm always looking for a clean, quick kill, quick harvest, no matter what. You know, when you're competing, you miss, you might lose a point or you get to adjust on the next shot. An animal, you may not get that shot. You may not recover that animal. So that's why, again, you go right back to the equipment. Your baseline for everything you do has to be perfect. Whether you're a competition shooter or a hunter, that I think point really hasn't been hammered on in the hunting side. I mean, all the competitive shooters know about it. I don't think the hunting side really realizes how important that is to have your reticle level.